Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how I create before and after Instagram Reels with DaVinci Resolve. Make sure to check out my Photoshop courses if you want to learn more about Photoshop. They go really in depth on every little thing to create digital art and they will help you along your way to become a digital artist. There is a discount in the description of the video, check it out and maybe I'll see you in the courses. All right, let's go into Photoshop first. And this is the creation I have in Photoshop. And you can see all those layers I have here. And what I would do is I want to create two images that I will import into DaVinci. Now, the first image is obviously my whole creation. So I'm gonna flatten all layers here, flatten image, done. And then I'm gonna press Command A or Control A to select them all. And then Command C or Control C to copy this image. Then I will press Ctrl N or Command N to create a new file. And you want to go for the dimensions of Instagram Reels. So those are 1080 by 1920. Now enter and I will paste this here with Ctrl V or Command V. Now this will be the after image. Let's press right mouse and convert this to a smart object so we don't ruin the quality when we resize it smaller or bigger. Convert smart object. Then I'll go back in my design and press Ctrl Z or Command Z. And I will scroll down to the layer of the main subject, in this case, the tiger. Now let's see where is my tiger, there it is. And you can see here, I cut this out before. So I don't have the original background. If you cut out the image in Photoshop in the same file, you'll probably have the background still here, which you can bring back by removing the mask if you cut it out like that but i don't have this anymore so i'm gonna take this layer and i'm gonna drag it all the way up there and now i'm gonna create a new layer and this layer i'm gonna drop behind this layer and if i press d on my keyboard i can put the colors to default and let's switch this i want to have a black background and if i press ctrl backspace i will have a black background so this is actually the original image now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flatten this image again. Flatten image, press OK, wait a little bit. And then we're gonna press Command A or Control A to select them all and Control C to copy it or Command C and Control V or Command V to paste this. Now, you wanna make sure this is also a smart object, convert smart object. And now we want to make sure these two images are in the right size for reels. Now, if I hold down Shift and select both layers, I can select them all and this way I'm making sure it's in the same position as the other image. So if I press Ctrl T now to bring up the free transform or Command T, we have to say that every time, I think it's obvious. And let's zoom out by holding our Alt or Option on Mac and then just take this one and make sure it fits this image correctly. I'm gonna make sure you don't have these little things there and press enter and now it's gonna make sure it's in the right spot. And now let's make sure this is in the center. So I'm holding on shift while I'm dragging this to the left side so it's not gonna go up and down. And then I use the arrows to bring it at the right position. So I have these two images before and after. So two images and now I can create a reel from these images. Okay, let's actually go into DaVinci Resolve and make this transition from before and after. Now. This is DaVinci Resolve. I just created a new project and then I'm going to go right here to project settings. And here you can see the timeline resolution. If you want to create Instagram reels, you want to make sure you have 90 by 20 by 1080, but you want to make sure it's vertical. So I'm going to just click this vertical resolution and I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to go to file, new timeline. And here you want to make sure to use project settings because we just set those project settings. Now let's create this and we have this. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to import those images that I just created. So I'm going to select them both and just drag them into my media pool. And then I'm going to go down here. And here we have the timeline that I can actually create something. Now let's take one image and just drag it onto our timeline. And the second one also next to it. Right. Now, if I hold down Alt and scroll my middle mouse, I can zoom in on the timeline. And I want to make sure the time is right. So for Instagram Reels, you want to go for 15 seconds or less. So let's make it maybe 12 seconds or something. And let's add a transition to this. So here we have the effects. 
if you search for effects we can search for the edge wipe there it is and the only thing you have to do is to actually drag this onto your clip between those two layers and this already makes this transition now obviously this goes a bit fast so you can click on this and you can stretch it out to make it slower and this is all to your own customization and if i click this and here in the transition if you click inspector you can see the settings now if you want to have it go from left to right instead from up to down or down to up you can change the angle here to 90 and it will go from left to right like this and that's actually pretty much it sometimes you can also add a ease to make it go slower when they go in and out so you want to make sure that let's see let's move this all the way like that so you can see this better and this way it will go a bit slow in the beginning and then it will go a bit faster to make it a bit more interesting to watch so that's how easy it is and then when you're done with your transition you can add music here but i like to add music in in instagram itself because they have a lot of music that you can use and some music is trending and that's better for your reel to get more reach now when you're done with this just go to this icon here and here you have the export settings and you can just export the whole video that you just created so that's how easy it is to create this transition and try it out it's a lot of fun to upload these kind of easy kind of reels because they don't take much time to create and you can create a lot of these reels in a short amount of time so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it and catch you on the next one